All right, hey everybody, welcome back to more. Let's play Fallout New Vegas. I went ahead and got my companions out of the um, uh, casino floor, the first floor of the Lucky 38, where we got attacked by a couple robots. For some reason, as soon as I went in, the Securitrons attacked. I don't know why. Uh, we got to get to the Boomers, so let's start heading this way, and then we'll just kind of follow this road. It'll lead us along the, uh, the hills over here. Got some enemies. Um... I'm going to pull out my 20 gauge. There we go. Um, the hostile enemies are Brahmin. I don't know why these Brahmin are hostile. Usually, hey. they're not. I thought maybe I could pick some of that. Yep, there's one right there. They, um, for some reason, they're pissed at you from the get-go. And now it's dead. It was hardly worth the shotgun shell. There we go. Another one? Did they get him? No? Going around the back? Really? Really worth your time? Oh. Alright. You can loot them and get their meat, but it's extremely radioactive. Um, rads plus two. Well, I guess it isn't too bad, but... Fuck that! Ah, oh, there we go. We find Field's shack. Let's go inside. Uh, we can loot pretty much anything we want, although I'm mostly just interested in the ammo cases. Uh, we'll take that. That always has some toys in it. Toy box, yes. BB gun and BBs. The BB gun and the BBs won't always be in there, but you'll always find a toy car and a teddy bear. At least one toy car. More BBs and another ammo box. Some flamer fuel. Always welcome. And... What haven't I looked in yet? I looked in the locker. Okay, let's go ahead and sleep for the night in this child's bunk bed. Uh, let's see. It is 3.05 a.m., so let's sleep for, we'll say, four hours should do it. All right. Let's get out of here. And it's daytime. Put this away. I won't be needing that for a while. Let's go talk to this dude. Whoa there, pal. You better slow down, or you'll get blown up like the rest of the idiots who thought they'd scavenge in Boomer territory. Oh. Now that I've got your attention, might you be interested in a little information? It'll cost you, but it's well worth the investment. Hmm. Um. Thanks for the warning. What's going on past those signs? Oh, lordy, lordy. You haven't heard of the Boomers? What rock have you been living under? Huh. They're a bunch of artillery slinging, grenade lobbing odd jobs camping out in Nellis. Wander into their territory and you're as good as mincemeat. Um, is there a way to get past? There is a way, and I'll tell you. For a little wager. Hmm. Wager? Let's hear it. Well, I know the secret to get past. If you give me the caps, I'll tell you. Hmm. If you make it back alive, I'll double your money. No shit. Um, free money? Yeah, okay. Okay, here you go. That page has the details, but it's all in the timing as you move from building to building. I'll be here watching, so I'll know if you've made it to the gate or not. Remember, there's 600 caps in it if you make it. Okay, yeah, that that's some easy money. Um... Because we can quick save, so if we fuck up, we can just reload, and those are the signs he was talking about. Yes, danger, keep out, boomer territory and such. Alright, I'm going to quick save right here, because we're about to get bombarded. My companions may not make it, but I probably will. And if I don't, like I say, I can always reload. Jump over that, don't get stuck on it. Okay, keep going. Keep going. Oh, fuck, here we go. Here comes the first one. Oh, ho, ho! oh shit! Oh, Veronica is unconscious, I'll bet. Oh, shit. Come on, you can make... Yes, we're there, we're there, we're good. Okay. Yeah, all you really... <laughs> Piece of something went flying. All you really gotta do is just hug this um, this wall here, and hey, look at that, it finally rendered. And uh, you usually make it, you just gotta keep running. And Veronica's back up. All right. Let's just walk along this fence here and engage in some conversation with some boomers. Okay. 
Here we are at Nellis Air Force Base. Hold it right there. Whoa! Don't you move. How the hell did you survive that bombardment? Um, simply enough, Ron Hunt, yeah, yeah, sure. But I had you zeroed in the whole time. Oh. Nobody's that fast. Ha! Move a muscle now and I'll blow you to pieces. I have nine agility. Um, I didn't come here to attack you, sir. Then just, just stay where you are. Raquel will be here any second. Okay. I'll take this from here. I'm Raquel, Master at Arms for the Nellis Homeland. Mother Pearl, our eldest, wishes to speak to you. All right. Lead the way. Follow close and mind your behavior. Sure thing. Well, John, whoa! <laughs> took your sweet time. Unfortunate here, camera you? angle. I've been waiting a good five years for <clears throat> an outsider to come along and visit. Hmm. Uh, how might I be of assistance? Oops, move that mouse out of the way. How might I be of assistance? Oh, so many ways. Oh. Small ones to begin with, so sure. we can get used to what it's like to have a sav uh, outsider around. Hey, hey now. <laughs> Should that go well, it may be you can help in big ways, too. We'll have to see. Hmm. All right. Uh, my speech is not high enough for that. Um, where do I start? You picked a good time to stop by, for we're swimming in problems. Oh. My youngers can tell you all about <laughs> it. Youngers. Raquel could use help with the bug problem. Doc Argyle has wounded he's tending to. And Loyal and Jack might be looking for help with some repairs. Hmm. Or you could just go see Pete at the museum and hear the story of our people. All you have to do there is listen. Hmm. Come and go as you like, help or don't help, I leave it up to you. But I hope you'll show my youngers that not every outsider needs to be blown up. Youngers. What's your step, sister? <clears throat> okay, yeah, everyone calls you sister here. I'm not sure why, but those coats are freaking sweet. Okay, let's head on outside and get this shit started. Okay, here we are outside, and for some reason Raquel's right there. That works out well. Let's talk Mother to her. Mother Pearl's instructions are clear. You can move freely around Nellis, and artillery spotters have orders not to fire on you. These are extraordinary privileges. Don't abuse them. Um, Mother P Pearl said you have a bug problem. I keep wanting to say Mother of Pearl. Uh, yeah, she said you have a bug problem. Long story short, the power failed a few days ago because giant ants have tunneled into the generator room and set up a nest. Mm. I led a team down to exterminate them, but there were so many of them. We lost. Two killed, three wounded. Oh, shit. Personally, I think it's more than a savage can handle. But if you want to kill those ants and switch the power back on, feel free. Uh, yeah, I can handle a few ants, lady. Sure, anyone can. But there's more than a few down there. See for yourself. But one other thing. The ants must be eating gunpowder from the munitions down there. Or something. They exploded when hit by a flamethrower. Hmm. One of us was using a laser pistol. Same thing. Bullets seem okay. Just don't hit the artillery shells. Loyal's been working on some kind of weapon to use against them. Maybe you should check with him. I will. And we got the key to get in there. Okay. Uh, that was nice. Normally you have to... You have to go run all the way across the other side to talk to her. All right. Um, let's see here. I think I want to go this way. Actually, I need to set Valare as the active quest. Uh, there we go. Okay. Now they will appear on my compass. And we're going to go over here first and talk to Pete. Find out about the history of the boomers. There's little Pete. Hey, buddy. You're the outsider. Mother Pearl sent word that you'd be stopping by. You must be eager to hear the story of our people. Got some weird Zac Efron eyebrows going on there. Okay, um, I'd like to know all about your people. Wonderful. I'm sure you've noticed the mirror on the wall of this hut. Shall I tell you what it all means? I didn't actually notice it when I came in, but, um, sure, I can spare the time. Excellent. Imagine you're the first outsider to ever hear our tale. <clears throat> all right. What you got? Ah, that's quite a mural. Ages ago, long before I was born, we lived underground. Everyone had guns, but the overseer wouldn't let us explode anything, not even a hand grenade. We left and wandered the wastes. There were savages with knives. We blew them up with frag mines and grenades, burned them with flamethrowers. <laughs> it was neat. 
it was a downside. For every 43.6 savages we killed, we lost one of our own. Oh, we damn. We needed a new home. We needed Nellis. Yeah, you did. Eddie, you're in my way. Here we have prospered and multiplied. Here our mighty guns destroy any savages who might try to harm us before they can even reach our gates. Nice. Well, until... But... Not saying you want to harm us or you're a savage, but anyways. Right. Nellis has revealed many secrets. It has taught us how to fly the bombers once based here, and it has taught us where to find one. Okay. <laughs> and finally. And that is our story so far. For this last image is our future. To restore the bomber, to fly the open skies in armored safety, bringing high explosive ordnance upon ignorant savages. <laughs> this is our destiny. Wow. I'm pleased that you listened to the entire story. Perhaps there are details you'd like to know more about. Let me know. Okay. No, there are not. Any no, we're fine. Let's leave. We were supposed to. A bunch of to... shut-ins who scorn outsiders and hold technology over them. Gee, where have I heard that one before? <laughs> yes, it does sound like the Brotherhood of Steel. Okay, uh, let's go talk to Loyal and get that ant killing contraption from him. And Loyal is right over here. I don't know how you survived the bombardment. That's incredible. Yeah, thanks. Uh, you don't sound unhappy to meet me. Hey! I hope Pearl knows what she's doing, letting you wander around Nellis as you please. <laughs> um... Raquel said you were looking... Uh, actually, first let's say I'm looking for ways to make myself useful. If that's so, how about you look into repairing the solar arrays on the roof of the generator building? Yeah. Nothing too complicated about it. But it's a long ways to walk my old bones. <clears throat> There's been that ant mm. problem over near there. You can't miss the array. It's on top of the generator building smack dab in the middle of Nellis between the two runways. Right. Okay, um, where should I look for spare parts? You don't need anything blown up? <laughs> if we need something obliterated, Raquel and the Howitzer crews are more than qualified. No, we have more specialized issues we need help with right now. Hmm. Uh, let's talk about something else. All right. What's on your mind? Do -do -do. Raquel said you were working on some kind of weapon to fight the giant ants. I started building a sonic emitter that might do the trick. Oh, yeah, something but around it's useless 22,000 hertz. the exact frequency that would kill the 150 ants. decibels? Uh, yeah, like I said, any signal over 22,000 hertz at 150 or more decibels should do the trick. Hot! Damn, you're right. <laughs> yes. It's a matter of boosting across those thresholds, not sure. exact amplitude. You're no. smarter than you look. Oh. Just so happens okay. I was testing it at 24,000 hertz, so it should be good to go. Yeah, it should. Place it near their nest and cross your fingers. Signal's too high for people to hear, so no harm done. Mm. But it might make you feel sick to your stomach. Okay. Excellent. We got the sonic emitter, and we need to go repair the silks. The... Fuck. We need to go repair the solar arrays. There we go. Okay. We need to go this way. Alright. Here we are. There's the solar array. And, um, Eddie fires a laser. And the laser will cause the ants to explode. We don't want that. Her weapon, I have no idea if it will make the ants explode or not. But all the same, I'm going to say, wait here. She brought something to read. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, we'll be back shortly. Eddie! Eddie! Stop moving around, Eddie. Okay, wait here. All right. Okay, good. They're waiting. Now, pull this bitch out and go on in. Ant! Right there! Gotcha! Who else wants a piece? You? You got it! <laughs> okay. Should be all clear for the time being. This guy, um, boomer jumpsuit, biker goggles, hey, grenades, grenade launcher. Alright, and this gun right here. This gun. Yes, marksman carbine. Oh, fuck yes. Oh, man. Uh, let, let's, I'm just gonna take a look at it real quick, and then we'll... I guess we'll switch to the cowboy repeater. Is that set? It is set. 
And do I have Maria set to slot 3? Actually, Maria needs to be set to slot 3, not the crappy normal 9mm. Okay. Um, so, Marksman Carbine. There it is. Check it out. Yes. Yes, this is a... This is a fancy fucking weapon. I love this fucking gun. I've got some decent rounds for it, too, although the condition isn't so great. I might actually use my weapon repair kits on it. Because it is just... It is it is a good, good weapon. Um, probably one of my favorite weapons in the game. Although there are so many. Uh, anyway, I, I don't know why I did that. I can just do this. There we go. Okay. Now then. You! I see you. Dead! Ha <laughs> ha! Right. Hey, you! Uh, you've got a boomer hat. Ooh, and it's in better condition than my hat. It gives the same benefits, so I'll take it. Boomer jumpsuit, combat knife, frag grenade. Uh, nah. However, we can equip that hat. And then drop the bandana. And then look at ourselves. Yes! Hey! You look weird. It's fine. It's fine. I... I'm all turned around now. Okay. Okay! There we go. Uh, toolbox with nothing in it. Actually, I do need some scrap metal. You can turn in scrap metal to the boomers. One particular boomer, anyway. And, uh, and get some boomer fame. So we do want scrap metal from here on out. Okay. Not seeing any other ants. That's good. Just need to place the sonic emitter and they will all explode. There are usually some on the other side of that door. Alright, over here is the ant nest, or ant hill, I guess you would call it. Place the sonic emitter, activate it. Oh, yeah! You have gained the bug stomper perk. Very nice! Okay, sorry, I just checked my, my text. Got a text from the wife. Alright, um... So, what now? Well, we need to start the power. I think we need to do that. And that. And it's loud, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then... And flip this switch. There we go, okay. Mmm. There we go, we've got power back. Alright, next I'll get my companions to follow me again, and we'll go repair this solar away. Fuck! I cannot fucking talk today at all. I gotta quit recording these at night, I guess. Apparently I'm too tired. <sighs> we'll go repair the solar array now. Okay, let's do that. Okay, hey companions! that thing away. You! Follow! Ah, just when the stand yeah, 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 shut up. Eddie! Follow! See, Eddie just has some pleasant beeping sounds. Alright, over here is the solar array, and we can get to it via a staircase over yonder. Yes! Right here. Hey! Trash can! <laughs> Nothing in Alright, fine. Open that gate up. Let's see what the computer has to say. Okay, array damaged or disconnected. Check all cords and plugs for connection. Alright. Yes, the array is very much damaged. There are, I think, about eight of the solar panels that need to be fixed. A couple over here. Alright. Let's do this. Okay, <clears throat> now. Reflector panels on this array are damaged. Salvaged parts could be used to repair the array. Would you like to repair the array? Repair 65 or higher required, or use solar array parts. Right, so my repair skill is high enough. However, if it wasn't, uh, we would have to go over to the Helios 1 and uh, use some of their old solar arrays, scavenge those parts, bring them back here, and fix this motherfucker. Which is weird, because I wasn't... The, the way a solar tower works, I thought was... The whole point was it reflects the sunlight into the tower, um, causing heat and steam and generating electricity. Um, I don't think those are actually supposed to be real, actual solar panels that actually sort of metabolize, so to speak, um, sunlight. Anyway, 
Let's say, uh, repair the array without spare parts, because we have a repair skill of 65 or higher. Using your knowledge of photo vol... 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 voltic? Voltic? Voltia... Mm -hmm. Fine. <laughs> Cells, you thoroughly clean, polish, and upgrade the solar panels. You also clean and rewire some degraded circuits you spotted. Array efficiency improved by 50%. All right, now we just need to do that a bunch of times. And honestly, I shouldn't be able to repair this, seeing as how I can't even pronounce that word. Looks like it's photo and volatile added together, and then with some stuff. Yeah. Okay, fine. Fine. <laughs> Made an ass out of myself. Okay, repair the array with spare parts. There we go. There's another one. That makes two. Let's see what else we've got here. Uh, yep, broken. Okay. Okay, what else? There's another one. Very good. And a couple more probably over here. We'll get a notification. Oh, crap, I fell. Oh, you can't get up. Oh, yeah, you can. Sometimes I can't get up until I get to the bridge. All right. There we go. Okay. And any... Oh, there, there, there we go. All right, all right, good. Okay, let's head back down and check the computer now. Check array efficiency. Array operating at 120% efficiency. I'd say that's pretty damn efficient. Let's leave. And also, where the hell did my companions go? Are they still standing over there? Seriously. No? Where the hell are my companions? Oh, here they come. They got stuck on things, didn't they? Alright, fine. Um, so, we can go turn in our quests to Raquel and Loyal. Let's, uh, I guess we'll go over to Loyal first. They like to hang out over here. Loyal, you! Hello, outsider. Need something? No, but I helped you do things. Uh, I repaired the solar arrays and increased their efficiency. An impressive piece of work. I'll keep that in mind if jobs come up in the future. <clears throat> okay. Uh, how about I get a code to use the VR pods in the mess hall? No, those aren't for us. Mm. Leave them alone. Mm. I don't know if I had a high enough speech skill, maybe. No, I, don't, I, I still don't think you can, actually. Um, okay, I was just Anything curious. Anything else you need? No. I've got work to do. No, no, no. Goodbye. Don't get blown up. I'll try, buddy. Ah, there we go. We are now liked by the boomers. Okay, let's go talk to Raquel. Hello. Hi. Okay, Raquel is stationed at her post right up here. Hello. I see the power's back on. The ants are all dead? Uh, yes. It's safe to go down there now. Maybe Pearl is right about you. <clears throat> because I don't know how you pulled that off. Hmm. I'll tell Loyal to send someone down to clear out the eggs and repair the generators. Good work. It was incredibly easy. Woo! Hey, did we level up? We did! Yes! Ant Misbehaving, that's a terrible name for a quest. Okay. Let's see here. Um, I want to get my speech skill up a lot higher than it is now, so let's... There we go, 31 points into speech. We need to level up one more time, too. Um, oh, what else? Uh, I guess that does it for this one, really. I think we're just about good to go there. Uh, yep, yeah, boomers need help around Nellis. Um, let's see, we need to go turn in some scrap metal and shit to them. So maybe we'll, uh, I guess we could come back to the boomers a bit later. And in the meantime, uh, yeah, here we go. Render under... Oh, no, we don't want to do render under Caesar. Wild card change in management? Return to yes, man? No, I don't want to do that. Wild card side bets. There we go. Uh, return to... Uh, um, make contact with the Brotherhood of Steel. I don't know if we should do that one yet. We'll probably wait on that one. Is it the White Glove Society, the Ultralux? Eh, I kind of like to have a higher survival skill when I get to there. Oh, there we go. Observe the Omertas at their casino, Gamora. I think we'll do that one next. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, okay. 
So next time I guess we'll go over to the Gamora Casino and deal with the whole Omerta family. Alright, I will see you then. Luke out! Luke in! St yeah, I'm back. Hey everybody, while reviewing the previous recording that I just made uh, during the editing process, I realized I forgot to loot this. The Assault Carbine. That's kind of important because it is also a very good um, rifle. Not as good, not as good as the Marksman Carbine, but quite good. Also, I forgot to loot all the ammo over there. I, I forgot to do a lot of looting. Typically when I'm going back and watching one of these videos, I, uh, you know, I'll see like, oh shit, I forgot to loot that Sunset Star bottle cap or whatever. And I'm like, ah, fuck it, I don't really give a shit. But this is a big deal. I, I have to go back and, and get all... Like, there's so much ammo over here. Look at that. So much ammo. Um, a couple missiles. And a mini nuke, for fuck's sake. Gotta take that. If nothing else, we'll sell it. Come on. Uh, what else? Uh, okay, some 308s. Good. That'll feel good on Lukey's hunting rifle. Okay, more. More. Yes. Oh, God. See... You don't want to pass this shit up. Um, okay, have I looted that one? No, I haven't. Alright. Okay. More. Oh, God, so much shit. So much shit. Uh, that's empty. Okay, okay. Anything else? Yes, there's that. And then there's some more shit right over here. That's empty. I want to take that. And are we done here? I think that... Oh, well, oh, that... Uh, hey. Another mini nuke. See? All kinds of shit. And also, if you were wondering what's behind this door, it's just a little tunnel that takes you out to the other side of the um, uh, solar power array. And uh, one last thing I, I meant to do earlier in the video, I'm going to go ahead and quick save and pull out my gun. And I'm going to shoot one of these shells just so you see what happens. Not good! Not good. Oh, holy shit, we lived. That's quite impressive. Here. Here. There we go! Oh, maximum death! Yes! Okay, let's go ahead and reload that. That is what we quick save for. Alright. So, next time on Let's Play Fallout New Vegas, we go help the Omerta family with their stupid, dumb, fucked up problems. Okay! See you then. Luke out. For real this time. Luke out.